Morning guys, I'm getting ready to head to work. These guys are unloading the dishwasher. Air conditioner is still broken. <laughs> As of right now, I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's 76 degrees in here, which is better than it was. But still not perfect. And now I have to leave. Um, oh, and let me show you what I've been doing with Kalani's hair. They're hiding under here. But I'm box braiding her hair. I'll show you all the rest of it when she gets home or when I get home. Because that's a process. I figured with the hair texture change, I should try again, right? I used to box braid her hair when she was little. Ah! And um, put beads in it. And it's been a while. I'll try to insert a picture right here of that when she was little, her hair with box braids. And it was so cute. It always fuzzed out in like a day because it was so soft. It would just pull loose. So we'll see what it looks like. I've been really excited the last week I've been working on my notes for my video in the series about what I think of Israel. Um, there's another video coming up. It's going to be called Am I a Hebrew? And I encourage you to watch it. It will probably be within the next week. I'm just finishing my writing now and I'll be filming in the next day or two and then I'll be uploading it within the next week. That's the goal. Um, so be looking for that. I know a lot of you have been like wondering when that was coming and it's on the way. It's on the way. I needed to get resettled in our new apartment and just get situated. We're heading into the end of the school year. It's the last month. Well, at my job, it's the last month. But then at for homeschooling, we have we're going to go into the middle of June. So just getting everything situated in our lives is kind of it's kind of sort of slowing down. Not totally, but sort of. So I'm getting on stuff like that that I wanted to do. Also, would you guys be interested in me doing live videos? I have been thinking about the idea. I like the idea of answering questions, questions you have about Israel, questions you have about my hair, questions you have about my hair in Israel, just whatever. But if you're interested in that, let me know. Okay. Okay, guys, this is how far we've gotten. Turn it sideways, pumpkin. Turn it sideways. No, the other side. <laughs> that was the back. I'm doing kind of, can you turn side, side? There you go. I'm doing box braids. She has fine hair, but it has definitely gotten a little bit thicker. I had envisioned doing this whole row tonight, but it's late. So I'm gonna have to do this one, this part tomorrow. She's tender-headed, y'all. She got a nerve to be tender-headed with all this hair. He's tender-headed too. <laughs> okay, stand up. Oops. So the ends, I'm just letting them curl. Just kind of wet them and let them curl for now. When she was little, I put beads on them. Um, but as you can see, her hair gets so fine down at the end that um, I don't, I can't braid it, but so far, right? And then I just let it curl. So that's kind of where it's at. I think it's kind of cute. What was that face? Kind of cute. We'll finish it hopefully tomorrow. Good night, Funky Poo. Good night. So, as you guys can see, we still don't have the air conditioner yet. It's been like three days, but they just called and said they have the compressor. So, they'll come change it today. Here's Kalani working on some schoolwork. Hey. Here's Josh working on some schoolwork. That's all his schoolwork spread right across the table. Like lab books. What? They were really not like lab books. Turn, look up. You what? So much cutting. You what? Don't like lab books. There's too much cutting. And there's a lot of cutting. What is your lab book about? Sea turtles. Look up. Sea turtles. Sea turtles. So he'll be done with this today. That's what he's going to be doing. I am over here editing. And I'm drinking some kombucha. My girlfriend Tasha told me about this brand live. I decided I would try it. If you guys follow my Snapchat, you already know how this went down. 
I've tried to like kombucha. I've tried several different brands. She told me this one was a good one. I tried it. Let me make sure you can see my lips. It tastes like vinegar. Every kombucha I've ever tasted it tastes like vinegar. I mean, it had a little soda spritz to it, but still. So anyway, I think I'm gonna finish this bottle and then that's gonna be that. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go now because I've got editing to do. Thank you for watching. You know I love your support. I've really been encouraged lately. I see that you guys have been enjoying my videos with the flashbacks from Israel. So I still have lots of footage left and I'll go ahead and do a few more of those for you in the coming weeks too. All right, guys, here's Eric. Say hi, hon. Hey. So, look, we have the poblanos. We have the panela, is that how I say it? <laughs> the cheese. And he is separating the eggs right now. And then he's gonna whip them up. You whip it no, first? I'm, no, I'm, I'm just separating right now because it's easier to separate the eggs when they're cold. Okay. So there you have it. He's separating now. <laughs> and then he will start on the peppers. Oh, I didn't do good on this one. Yeah. So Eric is putting the chilies in the oven on the broil. Because we don't have a gas flame. Because we don't have a gas flame. It would be better if we had a gas flame. So you'll see him in a few minutes when he pulls them out. I have to turn them a few times. Okay, you'll see them after you turn them a few times and then pulls them out. All right, guys, they're coming out of the oven. We're hoping that they're dark enough. I don't think they are, but they're getting too soft. And so I'm just gonna, we'll see how it goes. And we don't have a big baggie, so we're having to put them each in one Individual small zip block. <laughs> this is my, against my husband's better judgment, but we don't have an option. He found one recipe online that said you can put it in a glass bowl and um, put plastic over it, but we're just gonna go ahead with the baggies since that's what you guys said. So here's the last two. Really missing my gas range. These would be much better on top. Yeah. And here's the last one. So we're doing this step now, putting them in the bag. And we'll see when I try to peel them if I actually left them in long enough. I don't think I did, but we'll see. All right, guys, so he's taking them out of the bag now. And he's going to cut and gonna take peel the... Them first. Oh, he's going to peel them, my bad, my bad. And then take the um, seeds out. Actually, I heard a small trick once. I don't know my enough. Not cooked enough? Yeah. No, they're already just coming off. Okay. So the first one is peeling. Pretty okay. Yeah. Okay. So now he's going to take the seeds out. Oh no! <laughs> well, I've never done it this way before. All right, so now I'm gonna put the cheese in. <laughs> That's the first one. I don't know if I put enough cheese in it. We're not sure how much cheese to put in, guys, but there's the cheese. I have lots of cheese. I probably cut up way more than I needed. Maybe. 
So is a is a toothpick gonna hold these shut? I don't think so. <laughs> we'll find out. Put a little bit down in there. I wonder if you cut it too deep. Cut it too deep? Yeah, I wonder if you only need it to slip. Well, I don't know. This is the best one right here. Okay, so Eric was saying that the reason there's tons of toothpicks in here is because there were tons of holes. So he had to kind of kind of maneuver them together a bit. So there you have the chilies with the cross stitching toothpicks. And here are the egg whites. Are they peaking? Yeah, I'd say that's a stiff peak. Okay. And then you're going to mix in the egg yolk, right? Yeah. Should I whip them again? Uh, they didn't say whip it again. They just said mix it in. That's what y'all said, right? Mix it in. I'm actually folding it in. I'm you not whipping it in. I'm not whipping it in. So I think that folding is a good I think folding would be preferred. Because otherwise you'll lose all your air if you just whipped into those eggs. All right. So. I'm making one small adjustment to your recipe. Don't hate. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the outside of them so that the egg will stick to it better. I saw a lot of recipes that had that. Just saying. Okay. Oh, this one is totally falling apart. So he's flouring them. And here's the last one. Okay. You can check the temperature for frying things by sticking on the top of your wooden spoon in. If it, if it sizzles and pops like that, it's good. It shouldn't be like... I've never heard this before, y'all. Before today. And then he was smirking at me. So I'm going to end up with as much egg on me as this piano is. Yeah. I should be using a spoon, but... <laughs> this one is a very, very poofy one. Aren't okay. they supposed to be poofy? I guess. Why don't you just put that on the next one? Yeah, because I need my hands. Are you going to do them one at a time? Yeah. I think they said the oil should be deep. Should it not? I think it's a deep fry them. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. I guess, yeah, you could drop the whole thing in. That's true. Okay, y'all, here's the first one. Does that look right? <laughs> it smells delicious. Here's the next one going in. Ooh, that was a lot on the side. <laughs> it's not what I meant to do. Mmm. <laughs> it kind of smells like, it's like fried egg. Yes, because that's, that's what, it what it is. is right? Yes. 
Mmm. I want to nibble on this. I'm going to wait though. Alrighty guys, here they are. One, two, three, four. What do you have to say about the experience, huh? Um, I can't believe people go through this much work to make these things. <laughs> these must be very special. I've eaten chili rellenos before, but I've never made them. Have you had them with meat or with cheese or both? Definitely with cheese. Maybe with meat. I can't remember. Okay. Um, Did you have them in Guadalajara? I don't remember. Maybe. Um, they definitely needed the sauce, I think. The tomato sauce. Well, we haven't made that. Which we don't that, have. So, so yeah. we're going to just put like regular chip salsa on them. <laughs> um, what else? I learned some things. Some things I would do differently. What? I think I would try to uh, seed them before I cooked them. Before you roasted before them? Before I roasted the them. Uh huh. Because okay. they were, that was very awkward and hard to handle. But they said um, that you need to, the seeds have to, like, they have to absorb the whatever it is they get from the seeds before you roast them. Ah, uh, so you want some of that flavor in there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that, that's a good point. Um,. I definitely would rather do it over a flame instead of trying to broil them to get them. Mm -hmm. uh, it worked and I was able to skin them fairly well, but they do come out much softer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're harder to handle that way. They fall apart easier. Okay. Yeah. You think they would have been more roundish and less flat if that had been the case? No, because I think they generally come out pretty flat. Oh, okay. I've, all the ones I've ever had were fairly flat because they, I mean, they do get soft. Okay. But you don't want them to get soft too soon. Mmm, I wouldn't have cut up so much cheese. Mm-hmm. Cut kind up of way too much cheese for four chilies. Um, and I might try doing them actually full deep fry instead of trying to pan fry them. Um, I just, I didn't want to go through all the work of heating up that much oil, honestly. Yeah. yeah, those are my, those are my things. Um, I definitely think it was a good idea to put the flour on them to okay. help the egg mixture stick. I think I would like to try one of the other recipes I saw online where you put a little bit of flour in with the yolks mm -hmm. um, and it comes out and then you mix in the, the, the yolks with the whites and not quite as stiff and fluffy as these mm -hmm. came out. Okay. Maybe just a little bit less. But who knows? Well, we're going to try to eat them next. On these and we'll see what they taste like. spicy the pepper or the salsa Ooh. the pepper problem yeah you didn't say it was spicy maybe you better see you were like I think it's less no it's yummy mmm yeah the cheese could have been could have melted more but it should be like oozing out this is good mmm I like it So we can stick it in the microwave. Yeah. Oh, I think I would be afraid that would ruin it. 